Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a card and this card is quite interesting because it has spiked from 30 cents to $2.46 and it is continuing to spike even after the screenshot was taken. You can get the cheapest, you can get them on TCG Player. There's eight copies at $2.50. These are lightly played. So let's break down this card and see if we can figure out why it's spiking. So it is a card from Visions. It is a rare, and that's very important for later on. One double blue instant. Take the top three cards from your library, look at them, and set them aside. You may play those cards as though they were in your hand at the beginning of your next turn. Bury any of those cards not played. So pretty much a draw-free mechanic that means you have to play out those three cards and are they're gone and they get sent to. So bury, I believe, means that they are sent to your graveyard. Very, very cool card. It is the main reason I believe there's a spike on it because of the reserve list. So this card is on the reserve list. Yes, there are cards that are 30 cents on the reserve list still today. And it is, it's probably one of the better bulk cards on the reserve list in the fact that, yeah, you do get value, you do get card draw, you just have to play it out so it's not like as flexible because when you play it you you're hoping for a land and then two other cheap cards but sometimes you get two lands sometimes you get three lands and you don't have any way to play them out so they just go to your graveyard uh, overall at instant speed it's more you're not going to be able to Instant speed, the probability is not as good because if you hit a land at instant speed, unless you have something that allows you to play land at instant speed, it's kind of a wasted card. Now, what is the actual value? Like, what is the expected hit value? If it's less than two, then the card is not good because there's plenty of blue cards that cost two and a blue and allow you to draw two. This allows you to draw free with the concept that they all hit the graveyard. So if your graveyard matters, maybe that's additional value, but you would have to pretty much hit more than two for this to actually be worth it because there's so many blue cards that's two and a blue and you can draw two from it. So overall, a very interesting card. I think it has to do with a reserve list. Let me know if you believe I'm correct or if there's some new tech that allows you to I don't you, uh, take advantage of the fact that you're setting them aside face down. Uh, there are cards that mimic face down cards, but to my knowledge, there's nothing that would really combo off of this. It might just be a reserve card buyout. Um, there are plenty of cards on the reserve list that are very cheap uh, and they're not very good. This one is probably actually the better of them if we're talking about bulk cards on the reserve list. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye guys.